The iPhone moment of AI has started. Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. Today, we're going to answer a very simple question. What is SIGGRAPH? Is this an NVIDIA event? Is this an event about graphics? Is it an event about research? What actually is it? So NVIDIA would like you to think that this is an event actually sponsored by NVIDIA that only has to do with NVIDIA GPUs and researchers doing things that only work on NVIDIA GPUs. But technically, SIGGRAPH is a ACM sponsored event that happens once every year. It's very similar to Computex, but has a big broader scope just on computer graphics. And in this day and age of 2023, that also happens to mean mostly AI now. And AI does graphics things, so I guess it all makes sense. So first off, we can't understand SIGGRAPH without understanding what ACM is. So what is the ACM? The ACM is the Association for Computing Machinery. They're a US-based sort of think tank that thinks about society, computing, and it happens to also be a nonprofit professional group. And also my university where I studied computer science also had a student group that met a few times a week and we just talk about computer stuff. So why do they host SIGGRAPH? SIGGRAPH is one of 35 different SIGs. And SIGGRAPH specifically focuses on computer graphics and interactive techniques, which at this point is basically AI as well. SIGGRAPH is a really weird word, but it's actually an acronym that stands for Special Interest Group on Computer Graphics and Interactive Techniques. And ironically, ACM is sort of a large amalgam of special interest groups that have to do with computing things. And as time goes on, it seems like NVIDIA occupies more and more of those groups. So why is this event so huge? And why does NVIDIA seem to utterly dominate everything that's going on uh, outside of research? So NVIDIA SIGGRAPH is a special event within the SIGGRAPH conference itself hosted in Los Angeles, where the intersection of AI and computer graphics come together and um, do a lot of cool computational things. So this brings together researchers, developers, artists, and engineers from all over the world to share their latest work in AI-powered graphics. So a lot of it is presenting new hardware, it's presenting new software, and new theories of how to use all these things in concert and do really cool stuff. And the biggest question this year is why is this actually important to AI progress? So SIGGRAPH is important to AI progress because it provides kind of a forum and a really nice place for everyone to meet where researchers and developers can share their work and collaborate on new ideas. And curiously, the reason SIGGRAPH goes on for so long is to make this collaboration more likely. And so all the business people who are selling GPUs can shake hands and make all the other GPUs cost more. So in recent years, NVIDIA SIGGRAPH has featured a lot of work that has actually come to be um, pillars of the AI foundations of the world, not only just in hardware, but also in software. So real-time rendering was something that actually came out of collaboration at SIGGRAPH. Uh, this is AI that's used to accelerate real-time rendering, making it possible to create realistic and interactive graphics like Nerf technology, which did come from NVIDIA, um, and other sort of 3D technology. One that's really popular this week that was pre-released was um, a photorealistic means of generating hair that looks realistic as it would be seen through a camera. Uh, virtual reality is something that also was spawned at SIGGRAPH a number of years ago before Meta dumped tons of money into a dumpster fire to make the metaverse. And NVIDIA is actually still leaning into this. They have DeepView, they have their um, Omniverse technology, which they've sort of uh, turned into something that's actually much more useful than just a metaverse technology. Generative art is huge this year. It was just starting to pick up steam last year. But this year, the idea that AI can be used to create new forms of art, like painting, sculptures, and music, has been really solidly uh, a theme this year. Uh, NVIDIA's Gaugan technology can also create this stuff. And again, a lot of this ends up being tied back to NVIDIA because they are by and large the biggest sponsor of this event. And visualization has been a big one too. And this is actually where NVIDIA got their start in high performance computing, um, aside from just doing graphics. Their first big time applications, um, some showcased with SpaceX, were the idea that you could actually use NVIDIA tools to run simulations in real time and understand um, why you should make different engineering choices uh, rather than other ones that might not work so well. And uh, using computational time and energy as opposed to um, physical time and testing that might be more expensive or take way too much time. So we have a number of videos we're churning out this week that will be covering some of the coolest stuff that's come out of SIGGRAPH so far. I think SIGGRAPH is, in my opinion, a much more balanced event than Computex because there is some focus on hardware, but really most of the focus is what you're doing with it. And NVIDIA waits 
for this event every year to release their biggest announcements when it comes to things that enterprise and research and people who want to do big things with compute do. So it's kind of cool to have a little bit of a step back from direct gaming things. And this year, especially since NVIDIA clearly is focusing on AI, compute, and basically all things not gaming, I think we're going to see some really cool stuff. So check out the link above where we have our supercut of Jensen's keynote. We also will be having a ton of videos coming out this week that will be covering some really cool stuff from this event. So as always, I hope you learned something from this video. Check out our future content. And if you like this or found it interesting, please give us a like and a subscribe. We really appreciate it.